Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to take a look at a CPU cooler and I am so impressed with it. I mean, it is awesome. It was like 13 bucks. Um, it has a small compatibility range, but for what I need it for, it's gonna work great. So here we go. Anyway, uh, Dad wants me to build him a computer, which is fine. Um, I don't mind. So we're going to build him a very budget-oriented computer. He only wants to check his emails and Facebook. Simple. So we are going to take this and turn it into that. The new CPU cooler. This is a, um, just a kind of a cheap Chinese CPU cooler. It's socket 775 and 1155, I believe. Um, it's basically meant for the older computers. And that's what I end up working on a lot. The 32-bit uh, the monster project, that's a 775 socketed computer but it's balls to the wall wow it looks good i like it see how it has that nice black look to it that's what i was going for because it kind of resembles the wraith cooler what else is in the box just some stuff i'm curious to see what it looks like plugged in Alright, let's see if I can't find a fan header or something to plug it into. Let's see, it looks like there's something down there I could probably plug into real quick. I'm going to set you guys down on top of the RAM. And I'm sorry if that SATA cable is in your face. That kind of sucks. Oh yeah, that thing is gorgeous. Wow, and it's putting out quite a bit of air too. I mean, you can really feel that thing blowing that air down on that. So yes, this is the new CPU cooler that I bought. I only paid like 13 bucks for it. Now, I am noticing something though that they see from the side. I thought you could see it from the side, but you can't. But that's okay because it's going to be shoved up into a computer and that's all you'll see is the front of it anyway pretty oh look now it's changing colors blue green i'm not doing that it's just doing it on its own man i really like this thing i may have to get another one of these order two of them this is really cool i like this i'll leave the link in the description guys if you're interested in this um man i like it that's pretty cool it's where's the um hold on how do i do the box i don't know if the installation guys will do much good maybe maybe the box well let's see what the box says um maximum airflow is 56 cfm it's a 120 millimeter fan, 1800 RPMs. It's a hydro bearing. It has up to 30,000 hours of usage and it's 90 watt maximum. So it's definitely a low end CPU. Uh, let's see here, what else does it say? Oh, okay, here we go. It's for Intel socket 775, 115X, 1366. And then it says for AMD, AM4, 
and AM3. So it fits one, two, three, four, five, five platforms. That's okay because the platforms that I want to use. Oh, wait a minute, hold on here. Oh, wait. Guys, they include a bracket. That must be what that bracket is right there. See that bracket right there? That is for AM4. So I could run that in there if I wanted to. Because it says that it's, an, that it's cap compatible with AM4, and that's an AM4 socket. So I could technically put that in there, but that right there is a high performance CPU cooler. And I spent, I spent like 60, 70 bucks on this thing. But it's fully RGB, and it has a really high TDP rating, and I have never once had a problem overclocking or anything with that system. So, yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, it's RGB, and it's by Leto2. Never heard of it. I think I bought this on eBay, if I remember correctly. Um, it only took, you know, a couple of days to get here in shipping, which that ain't bad. That's about right. So yeah guys, I will definitely leave the link. I definitely think I'm going to buy two of these to be honest with you. Now the only problem is is that I can't adjust it. So once you plug it in, because that's all there is, there's just one plug to it. It didn't come with no remote or no nothing. So you plug it in, it plays, it goes, and that's it. You can't do nothing with it, but it is pretty. And it doesn't show from the side. It, so it's just a straight up and down view, which I mean that's how most CPUs or coolers are based anyway. It's pretty. I will definitely leave the link for it, and it was it was cheap too. It was like 13 bucks, if I remember correctly. It was like 13, 14 dollars for this. Not bad at all. So yeah, we're gonna use this for Dad's computer. Um, we're going to build Pops a gaming rig and very effectively. It's going to look great. He's going to love it. And plus, I get a video out of it too. So it's a win win. You guys get to see how to build an awesome ass eye candy machine for the low low. You know? Yeah, so this was uh, just a little talk through real quick. I just wanted to chat with y'all, but that's what we're going to do. So anyway, look for these videos upcoming, all right? So I'm going to do this about how to pimp out your system on the budget, and Dad's going to get a new gaming system. So I hope everybody's going to like it. It's a benefit. And we're going to have to go shopping. We're going to have to try to parts find. I do a lot of it online and stuff because people will post, you know, they'll take a bunch of old machines and, and list them. And that's what I need. I need to buy a bunch of old computers. I need to get at least 800 megahertz of RAM. Um, I need to get a higher end like 940, 945 CPU, um, dual core preferably, and the motherboard try to get a motherboard that has as many as features as possible i already got a good power supply picked out for him and i already got a good chassis picked out for him and now i got the cpu cooler and we're going to put rgb on his ram that's going to look awesome okay all right y'all be cool peace